Right, good morning everybody. Um, well, afternoon now, sorry. Um, I'm just going to talk a bit about how I got into Jaguar Land Rover and then about the apprenticeship schemes that we do. Um, can you play the video? Right, that's just my title slide. I've already introduced what I'm going to talk about. Um, but that just gives you an idea about what kind of thing we get involved with. You can see the royal family are quite fond of our cars. Um, I'm assuming, oh, well, hopefully most of you know what Jaguar Land Rover is about. But we're two different brands which have come together. And we work quite closely together in the design of our cars now. All right, so when I was younger, I didn't know what I wanted to do. Do most of you know what you want to do as, when you get older? Well, as a career path? How many of you know what you want to do? One person? <laughs> well, I certainly didn't know what I wanted to do. So, just before the application period for uni, I didn't know what to do, because they just brought out the 10 grand fees for uni, and I didn't want to pay that at all, nowhere near that. Just by chance, I came across Jaguar Land Rover. I wasn't told about it where I live. So for all you people who aren't local, I hope I'm letting you know about it. Um, then I applied online and I got through, which I didn't expect. Um, so then I was offered the job. A key came through the post. I was like, oh, a key. And, but it was a memory stick. And uh, that was good enough for me that I would got the apprenticeship. And it's been the best decision I've ever made since. Even though I didn't think about it initially, it's proved to be the best decision. Um, so why would you want to choose an apprenticeship over going to university? Well, for starters, you get a degree out of both of them, but you get paid to do the degree rather than paying for the degree. So um, I'm on my third year, at un well, third year of the apprenticeship, my first year of university, and I'm thoroughly enjoying it. So what my job role is, actually at Gaydon, which is where I work. I'm a design engineer called a studio engineer. And I take the 2D sketches and I turn them into something feasible. So I take their 2D sketches, as you can see, and then I turn them into a 3D CAD model. I make sure the engine fits in. I make sure the open area is big enough on the front to make the engine cooled. So basically, I'm working right at the start of the design process. Um, I just, this is the first car I ever worked on. This is the only downfall of an apprenticeship. You get thrown into the job, and you need to learn quick. But that method has taught me to learn very quickly. And this is the first car that I ever worked on. It's a Range Rover Sport SVR. And it's the model which is coming out next year, the one that I worked on.
right. So that was the first project I worked on. I work in SVO, Special Vehicle Operations. So I work on all the special cars out of the SVR. And I also do accessories. So um, these are all the locations that we have for the plants that you may work at or the training facilities that we have. So if you do the apprenticeship, you start off at Warwickshire College, which is in Leamington Spa, and then you move on to the University of Warwick. But all those other places are the places your home workplace could be. So why Jaguar Land Rover for your apprenticeship? Um, as you can see from the last slide, we have various locations in the West Midlands and also in Halewood. Um, all the qualifications are paid for. Out of the higher apprenticeship, you get MVQs, you get BTECs, level three and above, and you get obviously your degree in applied engineering from the University of Warwick. You get 25 days holiday with eight, sta eight statutory days. So that's a good amount of holiday days for, in terms of business. You also get discount off Fords, Jaguar Land Rovers, and some Fiats. So you can get 20% off your Jag if you want to work with us. Um, we also have a competitive, a competitive contribution pension scheme, which I'm part of, because you need to think about your future when you're retired, and hopefully retire early. <laughs> um, we also have the employee learning scheme and various other things like gyms on site, but the employee learning scheme gets you about £200 a year to spend on whatever you want to learn how to do, play piano, or do an advanced driving course, anything like that. Just a bit more about the degree scheme. Um, these are the various qualifications you get. So an MVQ 2, 3, and 4 in various business-related acumens. And then you get the degree from the University of Warwick. The whole thing lasts five to six years, depending on whether you skip a year uh, when you first join uni. You can choose to do that year, or you can skip it if you do a test. Um, the various areas of business you can go into are design, um, manufacturing, financing, product supervision, but compared to the advanced apprentices, these are much more CAD-based roles or supervisory-based roles. Um, so what happens in the five to six years? First year, you're full-time at college. You get paid to be there. Second year, day release to college. And then the last years, it's one week every six weeks you go to university. And throughout that time, you start on £18,000 a year. Then you get a pay rise every six months, and then you finish up on 35,500. These are the entry requirements you need, and there's a picture of the University of Warwick, where I go. Um, so basically, you need two A-levels. It can either be in maths and physics, and then you need another science or engineering ICT-related subject, and they both have to be above grade C, well, C or above. Just a little bit about the advanced one if any of you were wondering about it. That's the one you do after your GCSEs rather than A-levels. So um, that lasts three to four years, and you get A-level equivalents out of that one. Um, so this is the assessment process if you wanted to try and um, apply. We're open now for applications, which close. It's not the 31st of January. It's the 31st of December. And um, you first start off with an online test, with psychometric tests with uploading a CV and various competency-based questions. And then um, you get invited to an assessment centre day. And then you'll have to attend that. For example, mine was in Coventry. And then you get a group test, so where you do, um, you have to show that you work as a team. So for example, with my team, we didn't actually succeed in the task given, but it wasn't about that. It was about how you worked as a team and communicated, got the quiet ones to talk, and got the loud ones to be a little bit more quiet. Um, so after then, before May, you should either get an offer or told that you haven't unfortunately got placed. So as I mentioned, application's open now, and it's the 31st of December, not January, when we close. Um, there's a short message from some of our apprentices um, that I'd just like to show you. There's never been a better time to work at Jaguar Land Rover. Becoming an apprentice was the best decision I ever made. I work alongside world-class engineers in cutting-edge facilities. 
with the opportunity to shape the future of our business. I feel incredibly lucky. I get paid to learn and work on some of the world's most beautiful cars. I'm supported to be the best that I can be. No two days are ever the same. And the best thing is, we get to do things like this. <laughs> Do I have any questions? Yeah. Oh, sorry, the mic's coming. <laughs> yeah, if a person is doing the course at Warwick, is accommodation provided or is that have to be arranged? The accommodation isn't provided, um, but the salary starts at 18 grand a year, which I'm sure you can appreciate you could um, pay for your own accommodation. <laughs> No, you could either if it was part of the, the no. uni thing, whether you had uni accommodation. No, but um, they the groups do get together and they house share at the various locations. So you could be with other people that you're on the course with and live with them. Thank you.